Hey y'all, John Joffrey here in Austin, Texas with Revent Builds. We're over at one of our recent projects in Riverside. Why don't you come on in? Let me show you what we got going on. So first off, all new floors. Um, we're actually gonna do a stained concrete throughout. Popcorn ceilings are getting scraped in the whole house. Like most older homes, you're gonna see a wall between the kitchen and the dining. We're completely blowing this whole wall out. Um, we're gonna have to put some beams up in the ceiling. The framers should be here shortly and we'll get into the details of that later. To cut down on costs, we take our openings. If this opening has to be widened, there's brick on the outside that's just adding to cost. So this is a little larger than 60 inches and then a lot of French door sets come in a five foot opening. So we're gonna just basically expand this whole opening down to the floor and these will be French doors out to the backyard. Um, New cabinetry throughout. We're gonna basically bring our cabinets over, you know, farther than where they were before. So these windows are gonna be raised to above counter height. And then we'll basically just put in a whole new window set here. Um, another thing that's kind of simple that can grab a bunch of extra square footage on a house is something like this, where we have this porch, right? So, I mean, this is about, I don't know, 40 extra square feet. So basically what we're gonna do here, we already checked, the floor trusses above us, they actually span all the way across to this outside wall. So this wall is not even load bearing. So we're gonna just remove this wall and then basically expand the footprint of the house to where this will be the exterior wall. So this exterior door is just gonna move to here and now we grab all that space to where we can do kind of a breakfast nook and, and enlarge the kitchen without making the interior any smaller. So look, let me show you what I'm talking about here. Okay, so like I was saying, these floor trusses, if they landed right here and they stopped, this would be a load bearing wall. So that would mean we'd have to put a big beam in here if we wanted to move this wall. But these floor trusses, which what you're looking at, it's kind of a webbed system of wood with those metal tabs that holds them together. We call them manufactured because they're actually manufactured off site and then shipped to a house and you just stick them in. But basically this wall can come out at a very low cost and we're capturing all that extra square footage. So over here, what we're gonna do is this is gonna be an office. So we're actually gonna put a wall up right about here. We're gonna have double pocket doors. There he is. What's up, bro? Good, man. Um, the problem is when we put this wall here, it's gonna land right in the middle of this window. So what we're gonna do is actually make two smaller windows. This would be just like a fixed window just to let in some light into the office. And then this one will be larger when we bump out that wall that will be you know, accessed from the kitchen side. So what's nice is we know when we're doing new flooring, we're just gonna leave all this in here um, while we're doing all of our work and demo and then we can just pull it out when that time comes. If you hear um, some scurrying in the attic, we don't have any hostages up there. That's our HVAC guys. We're doing a whole new system. It's uh, not even the thick of summer and super hot right now, so definitely necessary. So this is the master bedroom. First off, if you look at this, I mean, I'm in the closet right now. It's tiny. Anytime that we have an ability to expand the master closet, we're gonna do so. So if you look at this from the master bath side, this closet <clears throat> is gonna bump out to about right here. So now we'll have a true walk-in closet. Adds a ton of value to any home. Um, most older bathrooms, I don't know what it was, if everyone was a little potty shy, but they have a commode closet. Um, and I think in a huge bathroom, that can make sense. But when you're dealing with these older homes with a small space, something that can easily open up the room is just knock out that commode closet. Then moving on, um, this was, I don't know what it was with the trends of using an enormous tub to take up so much real estate in the bathroom that now barely anyone uses. So what we're gonna do is now this whole space is gonna become an, a huge walk-in shower. Two shower heads, a bench, ample space to use and also feel open at the same time. Also, um, I really like having a window and a shower. Obviously, unless you wanna give the neighbors a show, we'll just put a film on here to make the glass smoke and it'll be opaque to where you can't see anything through it like shapes or figures but light can still come through so it'll add a bunch of natural light to the shower actually the framers just got here so let's go down check on them and line them out
Oh my God. I've never seen anything like that. I mean, they're just snaking and curving. That makes no sense. I mean, how would they pour this? Oh my God. I'm worried I'm gonna fall through it every time I come out here. Oh, this is enormous. 